Hey guys, welcome back. It is time we're going to take a look at a recent incident. And for you guys that have been watching the channel, you guys and gals that have been watching the channel, you know that this is probably going somewhere bad before it even went somewhere bad. But we're going to take a look at all of that. I have um, what I have compiled as the, you know, to the best of my ability. Unfortunately, our perp here, Andrew Horvath, does not want to talk to me, does not want to answer his phone at least. Uh, so uh, we're, we're going to have to piece this together on our own uh, without his input. If he would like to give his input, he is welcome to do so as per usual, regardless of what you do, what you did. Uh, if you would like to share your side of the story, you are welcome to do so on this channel. So uh, I guess we, we got to use the, we got we to gotta bring up the aliases. Uh, we got Green Gasper. Uh, sometimes there's a TTV, Gasper TTV, uh, in there. Uh, we got a real G baller for sure. I guess his name going by Gasper is pretty fitting for a G baller 69. What do we got here? We got, uh, we got $40,000. Uh, again, the, the numbers guys, we're going to have to, you're going to just, we're going to have to work with what we got with the information that I have. Thank you very much to everyone that reached out to me. Uh, especially those, uh, I, I guess we're, we're going to go through some of the people that are posting about it, uh, but those that want to remain anonymous, you're always welcome to do so. I do need to see receipts in order to use stuff in a video. Um, but again, here the numbers w without actually getting information directly from Gasper, we're not going to have exact ones. So we're, we're going to approximate based on the information that we have at hand. Uh, and uh, not to mention, we got 40,000 in Paldea pre-orders that, um, that, that haven't been sent, that weren't sent. Um, I think a couple of them ended up being sent, but for the most part, they weren't sent. People are still out their Paldea evolved pre-orders, which is a huge pain, which is why I always tell you guys, be careful who you're pre-ordering from. Uh, I, I mean, if you, and at least if you're, if you're going to go down the, uh, the wanky shanky route and, and order from whoever has the, the cheapest boxes, the sketchiest of sketch websites and, or breakers then at least use a payment method and that uh, you can get your money back and that's if you don't mind having your money tied up i always suggest if you're in the us you just go ahead and buy from psapikachu.com you will not have this issue i have a i will rattle guarantee it uh he knows better than to uh, pull a g-ball or stunt uh and i guess everyone else should as well i, I don't know what uh how people didn't see this coming i, I all you had to do was give a scroll through that instagram and you know exactly what's going to happen here, how it's going to go down. So beyond the $40,000 in pre-orders, we also have uh, what looks like a $150,000 loan taken out on Shopify. So we're in trouble here. We're, we're definitely in trouble. Uh, and uh, the, the $150,000 loan taken out on Shopify uh, comes from his ex-stream partner, Biggie. Um, if you go back and dig through some streams of when they when they had their falling out, when they had their breakup, uh, he mentions it on stream there. Um, I, I would imagine that that's largely part of what happened, what's going on here. Um, now, 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 now. Let's before we get into uh, to too much here. Let's uh, let's take a look through. Uh, so the Instagram still exists. If anyone wants to go take a look at that, I suggest you do so now uh, because it's probably not going to exist for long. You can kind of just give a scroll through here. Uh, and if you're trusting um, trusting someone that's posting like this, that's doing like this, that's gballer 69 and uh, with your hard-earned money, um, please rethink what you're doing. Uh, we have Secura's Card Shop. Uh, thanks to them for uh, helping me out with some of the initial... Uh, research this thread here was very helpful we have a lot of very concerned customers as they should be because I, I don't think they're ever getting that paldea they're gonna have to um, they're gonna have to charge back in order to to get to get that money back uh, which is unfortunate because they were probably expecting to get that sometime around release uh, that ain't gonna happen so interesting a little tidbit here uh, P football Pete was supplying him with his product so you might know P football Pete uh, he's like the the biggest eBay seller of uh, a modern product um, again still it's gonna be the cheapest 
I think he usually ships in like bubble mailers and stuff like that. Uh, so if, if you're looking for a box that's not been uh, banged and tanged and orangutanged by the uh, the post office, uh, by any w- whatever mailing service that uh, that it comes through, if it's in a bubble mailer, there's a good chance it's going to have some dents and dings. Uh, that we got a lot of Ace Venturas out there kicking kicking your packages down hallways. So bubble mailer doesn't really suffice for sealed product. If you don't care and you're opening it, then then whatever. Uh, but if you want something that is packaged properly, again, PSAPikachu.com is probably the way to go. If you're in Canada, if you're in the U.S., if you're in the U.S., rather, if you're in Canada, dosecards.ca with code RATTLE5 for 5% off. Now, um, so, P-Football Pete was not only supplying the product uh, for this, uh, the, the, the breaks, the, the, the pre-orders, the sales, uh, but his email was also on the Shopify account, which is uh, where we get into the real trouble here. Because uh, as you guys know, as I just mentioned, there is allegedly a $150,000 loan on that Shopify account. So Shopify, apparently, uh, after you proven, you've proven yourself as not a G-baller, clearly their system is not uh, functional if they thought this was a, a good idea uh, in this particular instance. But... Uh, if there's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan on that account, then any of the money that's going into the account is then put towards that loan instead of going to P Football Pete. Um, I'm I can only so if you if you file a charge back, it's gonna charge Pete P Football Pete Scott the money, essentially is what's going on here. So uh, from what I'm seeing, it looks a whole lot like our boy Andrew Horvath is in a way stealing from Pete because if Pete is out the out the money from the chargebacks because it's his account that's associated with the PayPal that's on the the Shopify now I could be wrong about this uh, I would like to talk to either of them about it if Scott I, I have no idea how to reach Scott uh, the there's no answer at the actual store uh, and then there's like another number that's disconnected uh, if there's some way that I can reach out to him, I did want to give him a warning about this. I'm sure he probably has a pretty good idea of what's going on. Um, but just in case he doesn't, uh, probably want to let him know about this. So that's the danger, I guess, even as a supplier, as a shop, whatever, uh, putting your name on uh, or putting your 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 PayPal on an account that's run by a G-Baller breaker. Now, Andrew. Answer your phone. I, we would love to hear what's going on here. You have a huge mess. We're going to take a look at this mess throughout the video. Just answer the phone. Figure it out. We can sort this out and and fix it to the best of our ability. It sounds like the chargebacks are probably the answer, and it might just end up being, you know, Andrew has to deal with, uh, with P football Pete in order to, uh, to rectify the situation. Now... Uh, we got the High Street uh, website, which is uh, very much down. Uh, this is where they were they were selling. Uh, and the Twitter, I guess this was the most alarming for people um, because uh, we had we had an instance where the promise was that uh, it's okay. I'm gonna make it right. I've always made it right. I've never ripped anyone off. I would never scam anyone. But now that the Twitter account is hidden, I don't know why the Twitter account is hidden, but none of the other socials like the website is down, but like his Instagram is still very much in existence, which is most of the images that we're going to take a look at today. But if we give it a scroll down here, we can look at uh, Jay here, um, the, uh, the opposite of a J boy. It sounds like G G boys are the issue here. So let's go through the we got a pinned tweet. Uh, this is from the 4th of June. 2023 um and our boy gasper andrew says attention to all paladia evolved pre-orders so again we have a little bit of a spelling impaired individual here i'm gonna do my best to read through it all right guys had to get twitter blue to type this out since twitlogger doesn't exist I'm going to keep this short and sweet as possible. Unfortunately, with all the letters mixed up, my apologies if he's dyslexic or something, the card shop that was partnered with me for the last three years has parted ways. Okay. The, what, do you think maybe it has anything to do with the $150,000 loan that you took out on the account that they can no longer get paid? 
and now they're getting slammed with chargebacks. That being said, the issues that arise from that are many. Two main issues being product for releases and a payment method of the website. So I guess if there's anyone that's going to deal with this, it's probably Football Pete. Because, I mean, clearly they have the highest of highest connections on eBay. Hopefully the same goes with PayPal. I would kind of in all under the same umbrella. So I would imagine that they can probably get this sorted out uh, if anyone can. If it was someone else, if it was a smaller shop or something like that, this could absolutely cripple them. Um, if they're caught, or if they're stuck paying the $150,000 or if they have to go to court in order to make sure that um, that they're not, that Andrew's responsible for it because he's the one that did take the loan. But um, depending on how the terms and conditions, like Shopify is going to want their money. The PayPal everyone's money was connected, collected for the pre-orders does not exist anymore. I have no access to. So the PayPal probably exists, whether or not it's locked up because of uh, the, the fact that like, I mean, I'm sure there's like some sort of safety system where if, if everything starts getting charged back um, again, I, I would suggest um, I was kind of looking into it to make sure the best course of action was to charge back, but I think it, I think it still is. Uh, and then on the back end of things, they're going to have to, to sort this out. So if you, if you pre-ordered your pal, they evolved, you're not getting it. I can almost assure you that you are not getting it from Andrew. I would say go ahead and do the charge back. Uh, and then P football Pete and Andrew are going to have to, to, to figure this out. I don't know how in the world Andrew's ever going to pay back $150,000, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. That being said, I am not a scumbag and would never take any customer's money. I did contact Shopify to see if there's a way I can enter my bank account and refund everyone that way. Of course, they were basically useless and stated the only way a payment return is the original method. So... I don't know. I, I think this is partial bullshit. Uh, he's clearly leaving out details here. Uh, and uh, the falling out is I can on only assume it's that $150,000 loan that you took out that's now screwing over your supplier, which is screwing over your customers. So if you didn't think that was going to happen, I I don't know. I'm calling I'm calling full bullshit on this. Uh, I, I, I don't believe it. Because also at the same time... Um, he said that he was setting up to refund everyone, but he didn't ever do it. Now he deleted his Twitter. So I, I'm, I'm calling full BS. I think you're full of shit. I think you fucked yourself over. You fucked your own life. And now you're fucking other people. Whether or not that was your original atten at, at, intention. At, I was going to say attention. Jeez. I'm becoming less and less intelligent just reading this shit. So that being said, I have to refund everyone by hand and contact. This was news to me about four days ago, so I've been working to figure this out. What I've done is got my hands on 15 to 20 cases of Palladia Evolved. How in the fuck are you breaking cards for people when you can't spell the set? You don't know what the sets are called. Like You don't know how to spell the set, but you're taking... You took in 40 grand worth of orders, pre-orders for this shit. Please, guys, please... Please avoid this stuff where I covered the difference myself or got from a distributor for you guys. I'll have a form. He thinks form is spelt with a U. Yes, it's here multiple times below where all of you can contact me and tell me where you want. Tell me what you want done. Options for store credit or have me get you a box. Hopefully just a couple days after release. Also, the form with a U will be your PayPal emails for me to send you money back. I'm super sorry about this, guys. I've had crushing anxiety over the last four days regarding everything. I mean, you probably should. Right, we're going to take a look at why this all happened uh, on top of the, the loan, why you, why you had to take the loan or why you thought you probably had to take the loan uh, shortly here. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's your fault. It's still very much your fault. I have been doing this for three years and haven't had any issues. My reputation has been perfect for every order I've done. I've never scammed anyone and make sure everyone gets taken care of. You can ask anyone on my live stream or Discord. I will not screw you guys over. You did. Sadly, none of this was really up to me. So I got to do what I got to do to make sure everyone gets taken care of. Below will be the Google form with a U link. Anyone that purchased, please fill this out. And I will get to you as soon as possible, I promise. Um, so, yeah, I, I hard doubt at this point in time. 
Um, the, the website's down. The Twitter's gone. You're not answering anyone. Um, and uh, I, I, wow, who would have thought? Um, also, speaking of who would have thought, who would have thought that this individual was on whatnot? So keep in mind here, we got the 8.9K followers. This is all very important information as we go forward here. Um, we the follower count yes no i'm not i'm not hating on anyone that has a, a lower follower count or doesn't have a lot of views or anything like that that's not what we're here for i'm just saying it's relevant to the story at hand so as you guys know for whatever reason scammers like to be into photography just barely into photography at some point in time they do that they think that's the the go to at the beginning um maybe they find out that they're not going to make any money doing it so they get into g baller fashion um, G baller fashion is kind of important here because um, whether it's a new suit, shoes, uh, gambling, and cars that we're all we're going to take a look at uh, in the in the remainder of the video here, um, they all seem to to line up with when the the pre orders are taken. When the pre order money comes in, the purchases get made. The the G baller purchases, and there's a lot of G baller purchases as we are going to take a look at. Um, and if if you can, you can tell me with a straight face. You take a look at a, a chain smoking dude um, that's you know, clearly an absolute mess. If you think that this is going to be a reliable source for you to get your your Pokemon cards, that you should trust this person with money or trust this person as a business partner. If you think this person that's on screen here, not me, him, that him, him. Oh, sorry, we got mirrored image here. If you think he is going to do responsible things with money based on all of the posts that we've seen here, based on the, the sheer attitude and what's going on. If you think that there's a good chance that you're going to receive everything from now until the end of time, you are, you are sorely mistaken. You need to rethink what you're doing here and hopefully everyone gets their money back and hopefully everyone learns a, mess, a, a lesson of some kind. So let's get into the, the vehicles, will we? We got the, oh, here we got his, Subaru with a G baller subwoofers that apparently he just he picked up. Um, yes, that is a very a very good financial decision. Um, when when you're you know you're running a business, this is definitely a business expense. You gotta have the woofers in the back of the Subaru if you're gonna if you're gonna pump pussy if you know what I mean. Oh my goodness! All right, so the Subaru wasn't good enough. The Subaru was not good enough with the G baller subwoofers. We gotta, we gotta make a purchase. I think he says here. He says I spoiled myself for working hard all year, but in hon all honestly, I love everyone in my stream. Thank y'all so much. I wouldn't change anything for the world right now. So, uh, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a, a little bit of an upgrade. We're gonna go buy a brand new Alfa Romeo for forty six thousand dollars. Again, the, the price tags are just kind of from what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing. If anyone has more expertise and can uh, verify that price, do let me know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, this is. Guys, this is, this is where I say that it's a little bit important. When you have 8K followers on on whatnot, uh, and even less on everything else, you shouldn't be buying brand new cars. Not to mention the fact that it doesn't look like you, you go outside or travel or drive around very much. This is not this is not priority purchase. This is this is how to not use your money 101. And this is coming from someone that uh, that. <laughs> They spent way too much trying to open a Moonbrion, but that was fun. We know what we're getting into. We know we, we have calculated losses on the channel here. We know how to lose money responsibly. All right, so um, if this wasn't uh, bad enough, the $46,000 Alpha Romeo, the, a year later, he traded it for a $56,000 uh, Rubicon, the, the, the Gladiator, like the, the truck one. So for anyone that isn't familiar with how that works or doesn't want to think about it or doesn't want to look into it, um, the car payments would be, yes, very out of control at that point uh, when you trade in a brand new vehicle after a year, which is not paid for. Uh, and I'm going to say right away, there's no chance the Alfa Romeo was paid off uh, in a year. Uh, so trading it is only going to make that Jeep more expensive than it actually was. And I know what someone's saying out there. Someone's like, Rattle, what if he had a lot of money beforehand? 
I'm here to tell you, no, he didn't have a lot of money beforehand. He worked at Best Buy. He got fired from Best Buy because he was trying to side hustle. He was a geek squad. Geek squatter. Uh, and he lost his job as a geek squad employee because he was handing out business cards and telling people that were geek squad customers that he would do it for less money after hours. Uh, th this is the kind of shit. So you're scamming your place of employment and you think you're not going to you're not going to scam or let drop the ball on people that are buying cards from you? Is that, is that what it, there's a difference there? Is there? Is it cuz it's Best Buy? It's a free excuse to to scam. Oh my goodness, guys. All right. So so we went from Best Buy. I don't know if there was any employment in between. Um but uh, he, he was making a G baller 69 shirts and, and junk like that. He wanted to start his own fashion brand. He was a photographer. He wanted to be a fashion, fashion junkie. Uh, and, and then card breaks in the pandemic when you could make G baller cash to the extreme. Sweet. Absolutely sweet. So, um, that, uh, that very car, the, uh, the Alfa Romeo, uh, it had the window smashed. Um, from what I hear, uh, people are telling me that he was claiming that he left something expensive in the, the back seat, like a jacket or you know, backpack or some stupid shit uh, in his car, uh, and someone smashed his window. Uh, the only thing with this is I, I'm not totally buying that story. I don't know if he if if he owed anyone money or anything like that, but they broke the back window and they broke the front window. So it's weird to me that, like, if you're breaking in to steal something out of the back seat, would you break two windows to do so? Or is this like a, someone was pissed off at him and he, would, he owed somebody something? Or someone was just being a dickhead and smashed the windows? I don't know exactly what the story is on this, but it seems fishy. It seems absolutely, absolutely fishy. And then we got, uh, I guess, he says he's going he's gonna to bring his Glock um, to, to handle the situation. Um, okay. Next. So, uh, again, following, we're back onto the, the following numbers. And again, the following numbers are not important. Everyone's got to start somewhere, but he, he, okay. He's making money on breaks, which he has daddy Pete, you know, taking the money directly. Um, he doesn't have big dick baller 69 car money. Is what I'm trying to say here. 276 subscribers on YouTube. So YouTube is not paying anything. We got Twitch 5.5k. So yeah, you know what? That's that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Um, I mean, depending on how much time you're spending, depending on uh, like if you're doing breaks on there and stuff like that. Sure, you're making a little bit of money. Maybe you're paying the bills. Maybe you're just barely paying the rent. Um, which is paying rent. So. Um, the car probably not a better better financial decision than buying a house or something like that and making payments on that uh, rather than G baller cars that are getting the windows smashed out of them. Um, again, I, I, I don't want to give financial advice here, but just to show like how um, irresponsible someone can be with their money and you trust them with your money. Guys, please pay attention. We got some G baller photos. Some G baller photos. You gotta you gotta pose with the battle styles, guys. Buy my battle styles. Guys, look at all these boxes I opened. It's sick. Guys, I, I drew on my drew on my face. Alright, so uh most importantly here, um this is the individual that's looking to pay everyone back, that's trying to do the right thing, or claiming that he was gonna do the right thing before he deleted all this shit, and he is taking pre orders um for Obsidian Flames. He's currently taking pre-orders for Obsidian Flames, guys. Can you see how that's probably an issue? He doesn't have a supplier anymore because he burned them. And now he's taking pre-orders for Obsidian Flames. So he's, he's, making, he's taking some money in here on boxes that, again, he is probably not going to fulfill. Not to mention the fact that how are you selling Obsidian Flames before it comes out on eBay? For one hundred and four dollars, without without the Pete hookup, even with the Pete hookup, I don't think you're selling at one hundred and four and making any money. Remember, you got to ship this thing. You got fees. You got to ship it. You got a small eBay account, so you don't you you're not getting the Pete sweet discount on eBay 
where you where you pay little to nothing in fees and you can afford to to mark this price down as low as absolutely possible that's this is not happening so this is a huge issue this is this is showing me that you're not trying to make it right um, you're trying to bring in some more money maybe to, to, to make car payments maybe to run off with as much money as possible maybe you're just going full bore you're just full full on everything to the max we're, we're just we're deleting everything we're trying to pull in as much money as possible because it's too late now there's nothing else we can do we have the link tree for high street uh here uh and again we got uh, we got all kinds of links some of them again not working because the the, the website itself and, and the twitter are are disabled um the biggie biggie mez here live breaks um they they had their they parted their ways in in november uh, but it's still on there for some reason. I, I have no idea why. You would think that if they fought and they had an argument or disagreement or whatever. Uh, so anyone that's kind of contacting in this way to try and get their product, um, you're not, you're probably not getting your product. Um, but this person has nothing to do with it at this point. Um, they were kind of like both breakers and partnered up, and I guess to promote each other or host each other or whatever they were doing. Um, so you got to be a little bit careful with who you're who you're shouting out if they're irresponsible and we see it we see it time and time again people these people that are pandemic breakers and shakers uh that are getting into this stuff that end up scamming eventually because they're not making enough money they're not business people they're not making smart financial decisions they're not making reasonable business decisions in any way because they're not business people they're not they're not and that's why you have whatnot that looks like a carnival uh again you got the the arm the arm tats, it's the carnival. It's the carnival. So, nonstop. If that wasn't all enough, uh, we we got into uh, Andrew here, and probably this, I would say that this is probably uh, a large portion of it, not just the, the ridiculous uh, spending, the, the overspending that was happening uh, on vehicles and, and stupid shit like that, clothing vehicles, um, but also the gambling. So, not uh, not hard when you start pumping some money in um, to to some online slot machines, uh, specifically when it's not your money. Not a good thing. So I, I guess he was here. He was shooting for the stars. He was going to become one of those uh, Twitch gamblers, the the gamble streams. He was going to be a gamble streamer. Uh, he got a, a little a contract or something with uh, Lucky Shogun, which um, spoiler alert disappeared. Uh, so if we go through here, uh, we have uh, we have a lot of people complaining. Uh, instead of shipping stuff after this point, when he started gambling, he, he got that like gambling contract, whatever you want to call it. Um, he was no longer shipping customer orders, so customers were pissed off. They were complaining about it. Um, a, a lot of people recently got banned. I don't know if they shut down the Discord altogether, uh, but uh, but yeah, there was a lot of people that uh, they got the boot apparently. Gamble. Now he's gambling instead of actually doing the the one job that he had, which was to break cards for people and send it to them. Charge too much for cards, open them on stream, send them to people. Easy, right? Easy. So here we have it. Uh, Lucky Shogun just shut down their casino with my balance of 600k in it. I legit can't believe this right now. So... Um, they were giving them some money, some play money. Again, they they'll, they'll give you they'll give you money, and you can go on stream and you can pretend that you're winning big dollarinos. I don't know if Lucky Shogun was actually like rigged in in the players' favor in order to make them like keep putting money in. Maybe maybe that's what it was. They thought everyone that was using it thought they were printing free money. So um, he's not worried about the people that he was promoting the website to here he's worried about his own six hundred thousand dollars that were was in there apparently now the six hundred thousand dollars is probably i'm gonna say it wasn't a real six hundred thousand dollars uh because you know they if they increase the odds so that you play it and maybe the streamers play it and, and they're like holy shit the streamers playing lucky shogun and and it's free tendies i can just go on there and spin to win uh but then when you can't take your money out or they just delete it all together and take off with your money with your balance the, you know, and here he's adding uh, train wrecks. Dog, I need your help. And they just scammed me 600k. So it's not a real 600k. 
They probably let the balance go up there. They probably have it rigged on the back end so that, uh, especially if you're a streamer, that it looks like you're making a million bajillion dollars because then anyone that's watching your streams is like, shit, I got to pump some money into that. And then they take off with all the money. So crypto casino, crypto scams, the crypto scams are still going, guys. The crypto, they don't just end at crypto scams. They go into crypto casinos as well, apparently. Holy moly. So can you, can we see where the money is going? Can we see where your money is going? Can you see what's going on here? We have Andrew here says, just restocked another 42 booster boxes on Scarlet and Violet at, uh, I guess he's uh, selling the French cards. Um, again, it's right here in the image. You, you, if you restocked it, you saw the word Scarlet. If you can't remember how it's spelled, just check it. One hundred dollars for release, three thirty-one. These will be the last ones for sale at cost. Just giving back to the community to start the new generation off right. Link is below. Again, do you guys see the pattern? Community giving to the community, and it's for the kids. This is a trend. It's a terrible trend. I hate that I can't even use the word community without throwing up in my mouth a little bit. I hate the fact that you're going to say that it's for the kids. You're full of shit. You're fucking people over. You're not making money on $100 boxes, regardless of whether you pull them straight at a Pete Football Pete's asshole. There is no way you're selling them at $100. You're losing money. You're just trying to bait money. You're just taking money in because you need the money to pay for other shit. That's what's going on here. You, you crashed and burned. You lost all your money that you pumped into the casino. You lost a bunch of money because you weren't shipping stuff out. Surely business suffered at to some degree. Business suffered to some degree because you weren't shipping stuff out. And now you're just trying to milk some, some money in. Because there's, there's got to be... Like at this point, I don't know exactly when the loan happened... But it would have been November before then, because if if he had a following out, fall, following out, falling out with his uh, streaming partner in November, at this point you're you're out, you're out that money. So, like, are you just trying to milk the account for as many orders as possible? Where is the hundred and fifty thousand dollars? You can't use that hundred and fifty thousand dollars to send people boxes. I mean, you're fucked anyway if you do, because then if Pete ends up having to pay the $150,000. Oh my goodness. So here we go. We got, uh, can you assist me? This is the Discord kind of getting blown up here a little bit because uh, the Paldea of all the pre-orders are not, uh, again, Paldea can't get sent out. There's He doesn't have a distributor. He doesn't have a shop to 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 supply the boxes, but he's selling them for 100 bucks. If anyone doesn't, go try to sell something on, on eBay for $100 and see how much money you make after shipping and fees. It's not good. Not to mention if there's something damaged or lost or anything like that. Like You, you have to incur that, that cost as well. Returns, that kind of thing. Still no update. I'm going as fast as I can to get everyone refunded. I just shipped out all the boxes I got in. No, that's, that, doesn't, that doesn't suffice. You can't do that. You got to make sure everything's in place. And no, you can't sabotage the entire system that you had going because that's your fault. No, it's not. If, if P Football Pete doesn't want to give you boxes anymore because you took out a $150,000 loan, that's not his fault. That's not the outside sources. This is you. This is you wasted all your money. You got scammed by a crypto casino. And how much of this money that was from pre-orders, how much of this money was from, from customers? Not to mention that, why are you buying product from someone that's chain smoking on top of the product? I, th I, don't, I thought there was a review somewhere where someone was complaining that it reeked of smoke. Like, if you want to smoke, by all means, smoke away. But like, as a customer, or even as somebody that owns the cards, that smokes, you, they don't want to smoke on top of their cards. It's a terrible idea because how are you ever going to sell that card to someone? They're going to smell the cigarette smoke. It's paper. You don't want your card smelling like, like cigarette or weed. 
All right, Gasper, I'm trying to get all the funds together for everyone in the next week or two. So now you don't have the funds. Where's the where's the 150? Did the 150 get frozen? I don't know. Like, I'd love to know if it actually got like withdrawn uh, or if it flagged the account. If Pete got like a notification and just closed everything down at that point, and now like. So like clearly they have to be on bad terms because if 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 P Football Pete received the funds for it, then he could have shipped the boxes out to just like put an end to it instead of having all the refunds or the chargebacks. I don't I don't know exactly what's going on here again or what the best way to like sort this out is, but it seems like it would be very simple to sort it out. Unless there's a bunch of money missing because Andrew stole it. Like, that's the only thing that I can see being an issue. Otherwise, everyone can just be sent their stuff. They never do business again together. And, and that's the end of it. So, again. Just absolutely ridiculous, guys. Please. Um, countless tickets. Countless people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and advise everyone to... Uh, just steer clear of, of stuff like this, of situations. If it's if it's anything like this, please just distance yourself from it. Stop paying people to open your cards. Buy your own cards. Buy them from PSAPikachu.com. Bring them into the happy hour on Saturdays. Come hang out. We do a voice and video chat. You can open your own cards. We will hang out with you while you open your own cards. If you don't have any in real life friends to open cards with, if you want that a breaker experience, but you're the breaker, you get to break your own. You get to open your own cards. There's no premium charge on it. You just get to come hang out. You can get a cold beverage if that's your thing. Drink your cold beverage. Open your own cards. It's a good time. But uh, but yeah. Take care of each other out there, guys. If there's anything uh, additional on this, uh, just if if you were involved, if you know anyone that was involved that had these Paldea orders, you're just gonna have to charge back. Uh, that's kind of what it comes down to. Hopefully, you had a payment method that uh, that you know lets you do so. Although I think everything through Shopify, you can get a refund, uh, and uh, and then once you do, stay clear. But also. If for some reason anyone got screwed over in any way and they need details in order to file police reports or anything like that, please reach out. Uh, reach out to me on the Discord and uh, and we'll get it sorted for you. I'll get you the information that you need to file that report uh, and, uh, and hopefully you'll be on your way. Learning lesson. Once again, guys, please stay away from the G-ballers. St stay away from the G-ballers. Join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.